Hello everyone. So in this session, we will be discussing about comparator operations in TIA portal. So there are various types of comparators available in TIA portal. So uh, there may be equal to, not equal to, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, greater than or less than, in range, out range. All those are the different types of comparators which we'll be seeing in this lecture. Okay. So in this lecture, we'll be covering some of the comparators and then remaining will be seeing in the next lecture right so here the first one is our equal to instruction so basically this instruction is used to check whether one input is equal to other input or not okay whenever the the input you know first input is equal to the another input then the output will be in the high state otherwise it will be in the low state so let us see how to take it in the tia portal first of all uh let us uh, take what we will be doing is we will be making a logic here so first of all i will be taking one no and suppose we are giving we are changing the values using a counter right so uh, let us take one counter also okay here i will be taking one counter okay so now we need a comparator instruction right so here are the different types of comparators available if you observe we are having different types of comparators here okay equal to not equal to greater than less than all are the different types of comparators available here so the first one is our equal to instruction okay so let me take a hit here okay so this is uh, equal to instruction right so we'll be taking it here and we'll be giving an output okay so this uh, this is the logic which we'll be using here okay so here we will be using a counter through which we will be changing the values of this comparator as well and we will be comparing it with a single value or uh, suppose we are having some uh, value integer value that will be comparing with the counters value which is changing due to the input changes okay so the number of pulses will be changing right so let us see what are the tags required for this logic here we'll be requiring an input pulse tag okay so because input pulse tag is required uh, let us take it okay input pulse in order to trigger the okay so basically this is our input number i0.0 .0. in order to trigger the uh, input of the counter we will be taking this input pulse and then we will be re using a reset to reset the counter okay so we will be having a reset input and then we will be having one uh, output all as well so let us take it as led and here we will be having q0.0 .0 as the output right now q0.0 as the output right now what we'll do is we'll be requiring one double word here memory double word so that we can give this to value that's counter value right so here if you observe this is our counters value which is going to change and this value has to be given to this uh, compare instruction so how to give it can be given using an address only so whatever values or whatever changes in the value of current value of the counter is taking place those changes should take here also so we'll be using one address here that is uh, memory double word so let me create one tag here so that will be m uh, memory double word uh, that will be showing a current value of the counter so let it let us take it as current value okay current underscore value okay and then will be giving the address md0 as the address here okay md0 right and will be changing the data type here that is why it is showing a, a red color here right so what is the data type for md that is double word right so m uh, memory double word right so it will be double word okay so uh, d word right so that is double word right now here all those takes will be taken right so the first one is input pulse right so this is our input pulse and then here we'll be using the reset input that is reset right and 
suppose we are giving a value uh, here we will be taking it as 0 only no problem okay and uh, here the current value will be changing according to the pulses right so whatever changes in the values are taking place that will be stored in a double word that is md0 right now this changes in the values are stored in md0 this value has to be given to the comparator that is md0 right now this current value will be compared with this value okay so basically uh, whatever value we are giving suppose we are giving 5 as the value here so it will be compared this current value will be compared with this value 5 whenever both the values are equal to then this output will be in the high state so this is what we require right so here we'll be giving q0.0 as the output right so let me download this one right so i'm downloading this logic now after downloading we'll be clicking on this online mode so it will be in the online mode and then we'll be monitoring the logic right so all the text whatever we have taken that will be taken into this uh, simulator right so all this ta uh, taken into the simulator right now here what is the requirement will be changing the type here basically we need to monitor it so in order to uh, see it properly that let us change it to its display format as uh, uh, decimal okay so it will be showing the values the changes in the value so let me reset it once okay so here will be resetting it okay so now it is zero so the same value is available here also see here if you are able to observe this is current value that is zero the same value is available because of the same address okay now whenever we will be changing the pulses right so whenever we will be giving the pulses accordingly this double words value or the counters value will be changing and this value will be given to this comparator and both the values of this comparator will be compared and accordingly the output will be detected or analyzed right so let us check whenever you are giving the first pulse see if you are able to observe this value is coming here right so here also the same value is here also and the same value is here because of the same addresses right so whenever you are giving the pulses so first pulse then second pulse in this way third pulse and fourth pulse so what is the requirement when both the values when the current value is equal to value of five that is this uh, when both the values of this comparator are equal then only the output will be in the high state because this is a equal to comparator okay so the fifth pulse will be given and accordingly the output will be in the high state right so whenever these values are equal then only the output will be in the high state otherwise it will be always in the low state okay if you are able to observe when this value is 6 and this is 5 so it is a equal to instruction and the value is not equal to the uh, value 5 that is why the output is in the low state right so in this way we are using this comparator instruction okay so basically equal to instruction right so now we'll be seeing not equal to instruction in the same here what is the requirement only is we need to change this instruction so here if you observe this is the sign for not equal to instruction okay so not equal to means what whenever the value is not equal to 5 then the output will be in the high state otherwise the output will be in the low state right whenever the uh, input or the current value is not equal to 5 then the output will be in the high state otherwise it will be in the low state that is when the value is equal to 5 the output will be in the low state okay so let us observe it let me download the logic and load it okay after downloading let me go to the monitor mode okay after monitoring uh, let us analyze okay so here uh, let me change the type here okay so this is the display format and it will be decimal right now uh, once one thing is we need to reset all the things so that we can analyze properly right so if you are able to observe here what is happening when both the value uh, see this value is not equal to this current value is not equal to the value of uh, this comparator right so the value is not equal to that is why the output is in the high state whenever this value will come to 5 that is both the values will be equal to then the output will be in the low state so let us check 
I am giving pulses and the value is changing. So when it will be equal to 5. So still it is 4. Now and I will be giving the next pulse. See here as soon as the value both the values are same. See fifth, here also 5 and here also 5. The output is in the low state. So again when we are giving the next pulse again the output will be in the high state because both of them will be in the diff, uh, both of them will be having different value this va current value will be different and this uh, preset value of the comparator is different right so again the output is in the high state so in this way we are using equal to as well as not equal to instruction in our tia portal okay so it can be used accordingly wherever required right okay so remaining things that is greater than or less than equal to instruction will be seeing in the next lecture okay so thank you